let's dive right into that emotional aspect, the second aspect, which I found actually to be probably the most important aspect of success because what motivates us to take consistent action, which is the distinguishing factor of success. What I found is what mostly stops me from accomplishing a goal is lack of motivation, some inner block. So that's what this video is about. You see, our emotional aspect is really the dominant in getting us to do what we need to do. How do I motivate myself to take consistent positive action towards my goal? And what I found over 20 years as a counselor and coach is that our beliefs are, are one really key aspect of this. So our mental images, our, our mental frames, our paradigms, as well as how do we process emotions? How do we transcend emotional blocks? What strategies do we use for that? And there are different approaches such as in um, rational emotive therapy, again, we use the mind to reframe certain experiences so that our emotions then also change so that we can then progress with our actions. And another aspect is learning how to um, emotionally process energy and I've traveled around Australia um, on a self-healing journey after some personal trauma and I've stayed with Aboriginal elders uh, at a spiritual unity of the tribes gathering in Lake Mungo National Park in 2000. I've lived with a Native American shaman and I'll be sharing some of these deeper insights on how to process emotional blockages and energy blockages with you in the actual Life Launch Formula course. But I want to give you one little taste, which is um, a story I'd like to share with you now. Um, I was traveling through Australia on my own and I had a lot of stress before from work. I'd been traveling through 10 time shifts in three months and I had a burnout and financially not doing so well, but enough to go travel. And um, I was having stomach problems for several weeks and I was at this place in Byron Bay called the Arts Factory, which is like a hostel, backpacker sort of place. And I met this Japanese person, <clears throat> a very gentle man, who had like a really good vibration somehow. And he was somehow known there as, as a healer somewhat. So I just talked to him one, one day and I told him my situation and asked if he had any, any words of advice for me. And he said, well, you know, maybe you'll just find yourself sitting on the beach and yawning a lot over the next few days. If so, just allow it. So sure enough, I sat on the beach for like three, four days in a row and just breathed and breathed really deep. And I found that once you do that, when you breathe into your stom stomach really deep, at some point, you get this impulse to yawn. <sighs> and that's a really powerful method, actually, of processing emotional energy. So if you want to try this with me, you know, open your mind a little, give it a try if you want. Put your hands on your tummy. You imagine you're breathing into your stomach and you notice it going forward a little bit. And you imagine holding like a golden ball of energy there. And for me, it's already, I already get this impulse to yawn, but what you do is you breathe deeper into it even until that impulse to yawn becomes really strong. And then finally, you imagine letting that energy in it, all the emotions that we, that we keep there, our negative emotions, our disappointments, our pains and so on. You imagine breathing air and love into that and then allowing it gently to breathe out. <sighs> it's best to practice this on your own somewhere in a quiet place, 
Maybe sit under a tree and breathe. You may find yourself sitting under a tree and breathing or walking by the lake and sitting down somewhere quiet and then trying this. It's one of the really powerful methods that I've found to process emotion, as well as reframing, you know, taking an experience from the past and then changing it. Okay, and I'll give you a little example for that right now as well. So let's say you had a difficult experience where you were rejected or um, something where someone hurt your feelings. So if there was an experience like that that you could remember, what would it be? Think for a moment. If you can't think of anything, just pause the video until you think of something and then hit continue. Okay, you're there, great. So now, if you want to try this with me, I recommend closing your eyes. Imagining that scene by putting it on to a television set, which is like further removed from you, maybe like five or 10 meters in your mind, in your mental eye. And you imagine like the scene as an observer of yourself being scolded or rejected or hurt by the other person. And, but you don't, you don't visualize it in color, you visualize it in black and white. You take out the color. You dissociate it, it's called in psychology. You dissociate it and you change it. You, know, you, you watch it as an observer, you put it far enough away that it doesn't affect you anymore emotionally. You take the emotion out of it. And as you do that, then you notice that it doesn't affect you as much anymore. So play through that sequence, sort of in maybe slightly fast forward motion. Okay, can you imagine that? And then you rewind. And now I want you to take the TV a bit closer again and you add color and you change it. You change it the way that you would have liked to see it with where you're at now, knowing that you're a valuable person and that you are um, resourceful, you imagine what it would have been like if you had been in your power at that moment. Imagine you're strong and you could actually defend yourself. Imagine you're, for example, if you were attacked physically, that you were a martial arts expert and you just defended yourself and you just pushed the other person that they're flying away from you. Yeah. How does that feel? You're putting the emotion into it again. And color, you make it more real. Can you imagine that? Play it through a few different scenarios. You can change it slightly, but each time seeing yourself powerful. Or for example, if you were rejected, you can imagine saying, well, you know what? I was gonna leave anyway because you're not the right person for me. So thanks, but no thanks, bye. And then imagine letting them go with love. They can follow whatever path they're on, but obviously they weren't the right person for you. Can you do that? If you can't, just practice it on your own. Like you can put it first on black and white on a TV, but further away, and then, you know, run it backwards. Even you can see how funny it starts to look. And it's, it's like a slapstick, you know? And then again, you plug in the emotion, plug in the color, and you change it in the way that you would have liked to have, it, have, liked to have experienced it. And you know, there's a funny thing about the mind and, and memory. The thing is, our mind cannot really distinguish between an actual experience and something that we imagined, especially if we imagined it very realistically, with sound, with feeling, with color. So, we cannot change the past, but we can exchange our memory of the past. We can change the program and then thus, in that way, empower our, ourselves. This is one of the most helpful techniques that I've actually learned myself in trauma recovery. And I thought I'd share that with you. So these will be some of the p things that we'll be sharing in more depth in the actual Life Launch Formula online coaching program. So I hope that was helpful to you. And right now I'd like you to take a moment and to go with me on a little relaxation journey. This is the little third aspect I'm gonna share with you. You need to find a place where you can be well. 
a comfort zone, a place of well-being. So what I do, I listen to meditational music or nature. I go sit by a river stream or by the lake and I breathe and I listen. So I prepare this short little video of nature with some beautiful relaxing music that I've actually created that you can go on a little journey with and um, imagine you're in a really well place. You can also put on some headphones and listen to this music and then close your eyes and then imagine you're in your favorite spot. I'll be going into that more in the program as well, how to create your power spots in your mind that you can retreat to and find your inner balance. So that's what I'd like to share with you today. I hope that that will also help you on your journey and I'll see you on the next video, which will be all about systems. So again, the automated systems we need for an online business, as well as the physical, the nutritional, the fitness habits, and so on. And I got a little secret for you there that uh, one of the top athletes in the world is using that I found about 10, 15 years ago, and that's helped me tremendously and actually saved my life a couple of times already. So watch the next video and I'll see you there.